What's up everyone, it's Emotion Derby for Life. I'm here going to do a update video on the Chainstock Derby car that I ran at Carver County Fair. The one I took second place with. And that's probably all she's going to get. Um, this car has three runs on it now. Um, I, she's, she's seen her better days, but if you guys saw in the aftermath of how mangled everything was and how everything was pushed in and just all goofed up, but yeah, she doesn't look like that anymore. She looked, I mean, all these tires are in the way, but she's all pulled back straight. Um, I right now I got I popped that tire when I was unloading, so I did, this car basically drove off the track. Well, it could have, but I don't know why it didn't. Uh, something like it wouldn't start back up. I thought the battery went dead, but. I got it running later, but I think it overheated because I lost the radiator hose and then all the water drained out. But I fixed that and that's all ready to go now. So, yeah. Uh, tires back on. Uh, I do have to straighten the frame yet. I got to pull it back that way um, on this side. It has to go back that way a little bit so I can get the front bumper back on. Um, bumper ripped off the frame actually which was kind of weird but oh well uh front suspension needs to be welded up yet i'm not going to do that any or like not today um kind of had a bad day and i just needed to uh, do a little thing a little bit out here just to get it kind of prepped and less to worry about and then i just needed need to relax so i took a shower and yeah so kind of cool off let's just say that and then now I'm just gonna I've been meaning to do these video this video and some other ones like the van I got an update video on that already um, 80s welded car is pretty much the same 80s welded car and then I got an update on the lawnmower to do yet but yeah there you go guys that's pretty much it um, We'll do a little walk around on it. Um, front, all this, all this is pulled back out. Um, bumper will go back on. Uh, hood smashed down. Got to rechain it all, but I won't do that till later on. Everything up front's all good. Underneath, uh, we'll have to rechain everything around here. I'll more than likely do that the day before the derby, or or even when I am free and I feel like doing it. I, I might even cut these holes out so I, the ch I can move the chain around. Uh, Retighten everything. Like I think most of these came loose but then I might try to get that chain there around or no. I don't know. I'll try to get one of those chains around the frame there just to pull it pull everything that way to it and kind of try to keep everything together because how that mangled that frame was because that frame actually was when it was sitting on the cement it was on the cement like part like it or the uh, the brace or the uh, yeah the where the br brace or mount for the tra or for the rear end mounts here was bent down and was touching the ground but now it's bent all the way back up um the control arm I think it's called we bent that back up so that way it's off the ground and I got a little clearance again just we'll retighten everything I took a good shot here um, frame is pulled back out the humps pretty much shot but I pulled it back out the best we could and then and then for extra clearance we took a sled I took a sledge and pound all that back in and call it good I'm gonna try to save the rear end out of this we'll see if it lasts after the next run as you can see there everything's just mangled uh, I actually so I was I'll do it in the lawnmower update I'll explain what happened so I was using the lawnmower on this door and there's some puddles here from the battery so 
yeah, that's gonna be fun to tell an update on. But yeah, I mean this door is pushed back straight, so this is where the door sh should be, like sitting in the groove for the everything. That's where the groove is right now. So there, there, not so good, but still worth another run. The frame. Frame's not bottom bottoming out or anything yet. It was, but not anymore. Um, as you remember, everything was up here. Everything was all mangled. So what we did was we, or what I did was we took the tires off, and then we took a payloader and just pushed everything down. And I'm trying to V it in there, so then everything else can kind of just fold together and then fold up that's what I'm hoping what it will do but we'll find out eventually I'm gonna try to pull these chains out because they're really just in not just in the way um, not really I might even just take the the trunk lid off if it comes off because it's kind of just doesn't need to be there I'm not gonna be going backwards with it much anyway because not very safe. I mean, this side actually looks like a car compared to the other side. Um, this side was actually completely straight, but we kind of pushed it in so that way it's uh, going in. More than likely, this might plow. Otherwise, it's going to go like straight up and down, which I'm. If it does, that's going to actually look pretty cool. I can't wait to get a good picture of that. But yeah. Um, yeah, everything seems to be good in here. Uh, gas tank protector is doing its job, um, keeping everything back. Um, yeah. otherwise, the floors are still good in there. I mean, the, the, everything's starting to blow out, but, or blow in, actually. It's, everything's coming in, so that's a good thing. More than likely, it's going to belly out right there af after a little while. I mean, it's starting to already, but it's it's still got clearance. So, why not run it again? Um, the hump's starting to blow on this side too, not as, not as bad as the other side. But, again, this side wasn't even touched. I think I... The main side that got touched was the back end and the passenger side. But, yeah. There you go, guys. There's an aftermath, on, or not aftermath, an update on the chainsaw car or the sh uh, shark car. Uh, it's doing, it's pretty good. I mean, it's, that's, for how it ran, it ran great, which helped quite a bit. Another thing that helped me win second place was a guy lost his axle, couldn't move. And then I could have maybe gotten first, but I left the guy, or if I, but since I hit the guy off the wall, or like he had no reverse in there, but since I hit him enough out of the way that he could roll back, then he could drive forward. And yeah, you'll see that all in the, uh, in the uh, the derby video and I actually have a one GoPro video I, f I had I have one that I found um, the camera the other cameras m ha must have not been working so I will have an in-car camera on my helmet of inside this car of me taking second place um, but that won't be up until Quite a while. I just got. I'm just uh, way behind on videos, and I just got too many family stuff to worry about. So I haven't been able to get anything uploaded or posted. But I sh I will try to do that soon. Um, before I forget, this frame this frame horn is starting to bend out that way. So I'm gonna bend that back so I can get this bumper back on. But, 
yeah otherwise that's pretty much it guys on that car um not really anything else I got to update on the car um it will be ran again at at uh hutch so and that's this coming sunday um i'm gonna try to do the aftermath or get the aftermath up first before i get this one and and um a couple others posted up but um there is a derby tomorrow uh, a lot more derby Oop, sorry guys i'm just really out of it right now i'm i'm tired frustrated and all this is just making me yeah so not gonna get into it um but yeah um updates will be going up soon aftermaths i should say will be going up soon then updates will go after shortly um i still have like two other derbies that i recorded like scott county and then um i had another one that i went to um arlington they had a derby and now carver so i have three full derby like fairs that I have not posted yet. Um, I just got the rest of um, Elk River up, um, which I actually ran in that. Um, I have a video of the car that I ran, or I have the GoPros and stuff, but yeah. I'll get it up, I'll, I'll try to get it up anyway. I know you guys have been asking for the, the certain videos, um, or a few of you have, been asking for the certain videos of maybe the cars that you ran or whatever I'll try to get them up as quickly as I can I've just I got so much to do like I, I finished work at like four but when I as soon as I got home I started working on cars just so I can get them ready but yeah um so yeah, again guys, thank you guys for watching all my videos. I'm rambling on right now. But again, thank you for watching all my videos. I appreciate it a lot. I'm trying to just get content made and up as quickly as I can. Which is not going up as quickly as I want it to. But yeah, again guys, thank you. Uh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll catch you guys later.